Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of mine. In today's video we're going to be doing another model railway video. Now specifically uh, the subject for this video is going to be how we can improve the lighting on these power line T-class models. Now this um, modification and this modification that I'm going to be doing doesn't just apply to the T-class, it also applies to many other locomotives that have this sort of older lighting style where it's a like a whitish blue kind of colour. So in today's video we're going to take a look at how we can improve that and make it look more realistic and make it more of a sort of warm white, so a yellow colour. So anyways, um, hopefully you enjoy and uh, yeah, let's get into it shall we? Alright, so uh, to carry out this modification you will need only three things. You will need a paintbrush. Now, ideally you want a really fine tip one. Uh, this particular one is a Humbrol number no. 0, which will work perfect for this job. Uh, you also need some clear red paint and also some clear yellow. Uh, the reason why I say clear paint is because that will allow the light to bleed through it still. Um, and But you'll still get the colour that you're after. So I'm using Tamiya X27, which is clear red and Tamiya X24 which is clear yellow and then of course you will need a screwdriver to remove the body shell from the chassis but I will get into that um, next so anyways uh, that's all the stuff you're going to need so uh, let's get started on this modification alright so starting off we need to remove the chassis from the body that way we can get access to the LEDs so um, on my particular model, and this applies to all the other Powerline T classes, you need to remove the coupler boxes because there's a screw here and one on this side. And then to remove the body from the chassis, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there's a screw here, screw here, and then same on the other end, screw here and screw here. So once you get all of those screws removed, then you should be able to pop the body off relatively easily. Alright, so with all the screws removed, um, what I'm going to do now is just take the body off. Now, there's no wires that are connected to the body, thankfully, so the body should just lift off nice and easily like that. And there we go. So, what I'm actually going to be painting is not the LEDs, but more so the inside. So, where the little holes are for the lights, I'm actually going to be, those are what I'm going to be painting rather than LEDs, so yeah, anyways, um, we can put the chassis to one side, and then that way we can focus on the painting. Alright, so I've got my uh, Tamiya X24 clear yellow, to put into shot there, <coughs> excuse me, so uh, what I'm actually going to start off with is the headlights, so these two here where my brush is pointing. So this is where a really fine brush comes in. So dip a little bit into the paint. You only need about that much. You don't need any more. And then we're going to carefully paint over them. Now we're going to give that probably maybe two or three coats. And then um, we'll move on to the red. Alright, so we'll let that dry and then we'll do more coats. Alright, so I've done the yellow and I've given that two coats, so I'm happy with the way that's, the way that's looking. So I've got my Tamiya XF27 clear red, and just like with the um, headlights, just put a little bit on our brush. And just dab it on there like that. And again, and again we'll give that about two coats, because that's what I did with the yellow. And I'm pretty satisfied with two coats. So we'll let that one dry and then we'll do the second coat. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we're all painted up, so 
got the headlights and tail lights painted in there and then we also have the headlights and tail lights painted in there so what we'll do is we'll let that dry for a bit and then we can reinstall the body to the chassis all right so with the paint inside the body now dry it's now time to attach the body to the chassis so that should just be a sometimes it can be a little bit tricky but when it comes to attaching the body you're just working in reverse basically of how you took it off so yeah hopefully this can go on without too many too many issues or too much trouble sometimes it can be a bit of a bit of a pain to get this body back on but yeah um, I'm gonna do this off camera because uh, it's a bit of a pain to put back on sometimes and once it's on I'll put you back on all right there you go guys that will be the end of today's video and as you can see this is a definitely a very good improvement for these powerline t-class models as well as older locomotives that have the old style whitish blue lighting so yeah this worked out very very good i'm very very happy with it so this is that so this is one side and then i'll quickly show you the other side So yeah, that's the other side, so that also looks quite good as well. So yeah, very happy with it. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought, and hopefully this video has helped you guys out at home who are looking at perhaps doing the same thing. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. So take care, stay safe, and have a nice day. Bye everyone.